Hello, good morning, buenos dias, welcome back to another video. This week we thought it'd be fun to change things up and bring you along for 24 hours of what we eat in a day while living in our van here in Mexico. Do you want to go outside? Okay. We like to start most mornings with coffee and a walk on the beach. And now it's time to head back to the van and make some breakfast. For breakfast this morning, I'm going to make us some yogurt bowls. It's kind of been our go-to breakfast over the last little while. Just so tasty and quick and easy in the van. I started on breakfast by loading up our bowls with Greek yogurt. Our go-to has just been plain Greek yogurt lately, but we've also been loving a generous pour of organic cocoa powder in there as well. The combination of the two tastes just like chocolate mousse and it's honestly so delicious. I don't know whether it's the sunshine or waking up by the ocean most days, but being here in Baja has really made us crave all the fresh fruta lately, so I chopped up some bananas, added a handful of blueberries to each bowl, and then topped it all off with a good sprinkle of hemp hearts and chia seeds. Such a simple yet nutritious meal that allows you to fuel your body even on those lazier mornings. Normally we'd enjoy our breakfast outside, but today it is not very pleasant outside. It's kind of cold and quite windy, so we're just cozied up in here. All done. It has been a few hours since we made a little breakfast there, and it is time to make some lunch. Let's get into it. We have been absolutely loving quinoa salad variations in the van, so we started by adding two cups of quinoa and four cups of water to a pot. We later realized you actually only need two cups of cooked quinoa to make this dish, so now we just have a lot of extra quinoa, but hey, that's okay. While letting the quinoa do its thing, Dane started on cutting up some mango, and it has honestly become one of our favorites on this trip. It is such a beautiful, vibrant fruit, and I swear to you, there is something about the mango here in Mexico that just tastes better. While our quinoa continued to simmer, we drizzled a decent amount of olive oil onto our pan, added the chicken, seasoned it with salt and pepper, and allowed it to fully cook. We then finished the prep by slicing up half an avocado, half an orange, and cutting up our freshly cooked chicken, which means it is now time to prep the salad. We started off by adding a couple handfuls of spinach to each plate, and then added the rest of our ingredients to create a beautiful, colorful, healthy, nourishing, delicious chicken and mango quinoa salad. <laughs> so appealing, eh? The behind the scenes of cooking in a van. <laughs> well, trying to make it look nice. You know, my Michelin star presentation here. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who doesn't want to eat that? cheese and it's absolutely delicious. Oh, there's Mowgli trying to lick some scraps. I guess Dane did make lunch, so now I'm stuck with the dishes. a good boy too so he needs some treats we found these um they're like local treats for dogs they're supposed to be really healthy with all good ingredients for them so we thought we'd give them a go 
Okay, I am craving something sweet and chocolatey, and we don't have any dessert in the van, so I think I'm going to try and make some chocolate milk. Two thirds of a cup of oats, but I usually soak them. However, I did not anticipate my sweet treat craving. Half a tablespoon of walnut oil quarter teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of maple syrup, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, four teaspoons of cacao powder. I've been making my own milk for about four years now and really love being able to choose exactly what ingredients go into it every time. probably use a lot more cacao powder, but still pretty good. You ready? Oh. Okay. Give them a kiss. One more. <laughs> okay, you can eat. All right, it is dinner time. Dinner time. <laughs> what are we making? Mexican chicken rice. Nice. Probably has a better name than that, but that's all I can really remember. <laughs> Let's do it. Both Dane and I love Mexican food, so we've been having a lot of fun with different recipes since driving down here, and I have to say, tonight's turned out delicious. We started by prepping the veggies, I diced up a couple of peppers as well as a bunch of green onion, and while Dane cut up the chicken, I smashed, peeled, and minced six cloves of garlic and grated some queso chihuahua, which is just the most delicious soft white cheese that we found here in Mexico, and as always, shared a little bit with Mowgli. After letting the stove top heat up, we got a good drizzle of olive oil into the pan, added the chicken, and as always, seasoned with lots and lots of salt and pepper. After about five minutes, we tossed in the garlic and peppers, as well as one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of cumin, and half a tablespoon of chili powder before mixing it all up and letting it create the most delicious flavor. We then added one cup of rice and two cups of chicken stock to our pan, as well as 500 grams of tomato sauce before realizing that we definitely did not choose the right size pan for this dish. So we usually like cooking one pot or one pan recipes in the van. This is one of them. Uh, and that's usually because there tends to be less dishes. Unfortunately, we misjudged on this one and chose the wrong pan and we're gonna have to transfer it into a pot so there will be more dishes today. Then we add the black beans, now that there's room. And after letting everything cook for a good 15 to 20 minutes, we threw in the corn and the cheese and gave it a good stir before serving it on up with some fresh ciabatta and a sprinkle of goat cheese on top. of a chili almost. Oh yeah. Oh, that's really good. Mm, that's tasty. Tired boy. 